My name's Marietta Mahani and this week's aqua tip we're going to be doing the suspended swivel. The swivel is, well, it's what I call it and other instructors can call it different things, maybe rotational cross-country ski. It's pretty much that really, but it's in the suspended position. So we start off with our feet up off the bottom of the pool. Now, I'm going to do it and I'm going to work as hard as I can so you can see what I'm doing. <sighs> Where do I feel? I feel it coming up on either side, on my back and my abdominals on either side and it happens as the legs kick out to swap over. So as you kick across the body, it's not there, it's as you pull the leg back. Pull back, pull, pull, pull. And then you're rotating from side to side. But it is as the foot comes back. Now that is important to note because it does depend on how far apart your feet are as to how effective the exercise is. If I just do a little swivel and I don't kick my feet apart at all, I don't really feel this exercise very much at all. Nothing, very little. I have to go at the same pace, but kick the feet further apart for it to be effective. The other thing I'm doing is pulling the toe back towards the shin. So I'm not pointing my toes. Now, you can probably see that I'm just holding the dumbbells out to the side to keep me afloat. And another point here is that you're trying to keep your torso forward. You want to avoid leaning backwards. That means that your feet stay underneath the water. And there is a tendency to move forwards if you've got enough force going between the legs. Watch what happens when I lean back just slightly. Completely changes. I'm not feeling this in my abdominals anywhere near as I was before. It's actually quite an easy exercise. I do feel a little bit of work in my hamstring as I pull back. But when I was sitting forward more, it was hamstrings all the way up to the side of my body. And I really like that exercise. Now later on I'll show you how to demonstrate this with your arms on pool deck to be able to communicate effectively to your participants in the pool. But it's all about taking the feet as far apart as you can and then pulling it back so that you can switch over from one side to the other. Awesome exercise, it's a little bit different and that is this week's Aqua Tip. The seated swivel movement pattern that I was demonstrating in the pool needs to be done on pool deck. You need to get down to the floor. It's not pretty uh, and it's a little bit messy, of course, if you've got a pool deck that's a little bit damp, but it is the fastest and most effective way to demonstrate this. Now, I'm talking a little bit about dumbbells here because some dumbbells are not very sturdy to put your body weight on in that the centre uh, section can bend or break or the foam parts aren't attached securely to either end and they're more likely to come off. So I want you to be careful with demonstrating this when you do this on pool deck and if there is an issue with the dumbbells don't use them. So this is how it looks. You get down pool deck you say all right start, start seated arms out to the side rock yourself from one side to the other and swivel one hip over the other. Now, with your legs, you want to try and split them apart so you can pull back with force. Go across, pull back with force so that you're kicking back hard so that you can feel this in your hamstrings and you can feel this in your abdominals. Then what you can do as an instructor is get up and then demonstrate using your arms, as I mentioned in the pool, where you roll. So what you need to do is get your shoulders over one arm goes, the shoulder goes over, 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 over. And this is where you get to demonstrate the power of the kick. Now remember, 
It was on the way back, not on the way across. So when you demonstrate with your arms, you say you're going to take it across and kick out, kick out, kick out, which feels counterintuitive because when you're demonstrating this, it feels like you want to go kick, kick and emphasize the kicking across. But remember, that's not what I felt when I was in the pool. It was on the pull back, pull back, pull back. So just remember that it's not what it feels like you should be doing on, on land when you're demonstrating that movement pattern because it feels very different in the water. Now, what I was referring to as far as dumbbells being sturdy, when I'm down on the floor and I'm demonstrating that crossing over kicking action, I'm actually placing a bit of body weight on those dumbbells. So I'm going here and then I've got dumbbell weight. I'm putting my body weight there and then putting my body weight there and I'm pushing off the dumbbell. If you feel that your dumbbells are not gonna be sturdy enough, just demonstrate that they need to have their arms out to the side and then put the dumbbell away and just use your hands to push off the floor because there is a good chance that you may even break your dumbbells in the process of demonstrating that movement pattern. Um, how do I know? Because I've done it. <laughs> I've actually broken dumbbells and gone, oh, hello. And because you, you're pushing off the floor, so you're placing quite a bit of force on the dumbbells. Uh, these are my own, so that's okay if I break these. But of course, you know, if you're working in a facility, you don't want to be ruining their dumbbells. So it's something to think about. It just depends on the quality of the dumbbells and what you're using. And that is this week's Aqua Tip.